Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this video is take a look at engraving. Now, to demonstrate this, we need to create some text first. So I'm going to head over here to the main toolbar. I'm going to select the text command, and the very first option up here will just left hand mouse click on that. So what you want to do first is just type in the text that you'd like to create. So I'm going to type in XR5. That looks good. You've got justification control here if you have multiple lines of text, but we just have one line, so it's not that big a deal. Uh, we do want to select font attributes. Now notice that there's three different font styles you can choose from. A basic font and line font. These two guys are actually line fonts. Uh, if you select the basic font, that's really standard. If you go with line fonts, you'll notice uh, there are some different options you can select from. But this is really a nice one down here, true type fonts. This will let you choose any type of true type font that's currently installed on your computer. So I'm using Arial Black for this. And for height, I'm going to make this 25 millimeters. And then, of course, you can select bold, italic, and so on. I'm going to go with bold and click OK. And we're finished, so I'll click OK. And then you just simply take your cursor and left-hand mouse click where you want to place the text. OK. Now, if you're not going to machine this, then you're finished. Uh, if you're just going to use this for a print or for display purposes, you're, you're done. But if you want to machine this, you do want to convert this text into lines and arcs. And the way to do that is to come over back to the main toolbar. And I'm already inside of our text category, so I've already selected text, which is right here. Instead of selecting this option, you want to now go with text to geometry. Just simply take your cursor and left hand mouse click, and it will convert that to lines and arcs. OK, All right, that looks great. Now to machine this, it's really up to you. If you want to, you could, from your stock tool pass, perform a pocketing operation on each one of these. If you'd like, you could profile each one of these shapes. Now, if you want to take the center of the tool and drive it on the geometry, that's what we call engraving, and we have a whole category for that. There's the cut, uh, cut chain options. Uh, these allow you to engrave, but it will only allow you to engrave one shape at a time. OK, and there's a 2D option and also a 3D option for this. And then we have engrave all, and that's also 2D and 3D. Engrave all is nice in that it will engrave everything on the screen. Let's first demonstrate cut chain. So I'm going to select that. And what we're going to do is just select the, the shape that we want to cut. You can go e either direction since we're engraving. I'll go that direction, then hit F3 to select the rest of the geometry. Notice that as soon as I select that, instantly we're going into Select Tool. So remember, the Cut Chain options only allow you to machine or engrave one shape at a time. So for the tool, I think what I'm going to use is just a chamfer tool. That looks good. And for diameter, I'm going to put in 12 millimeters for that. The tip diameter, I have at zero. And then we have the taper angle I have set there at 45 degrees. We'll say that's uh, tool number three, and for spindle speed, I'll kick that up to 3,400 RPM. And for feed rate, I'll put in 0.25. All that looks good. Clearance, I've got uh, 10 millimeters. For plunge clearance, where we're going to start to feed down, I have three millimeters. The top of the material is zero. And for depth, I'm going to machine, uh, you know what, minus one is fine. So we'll go with minus one millimeter on that. Click Next. And then, of course, you've got a couple styles here. You can ramp cut, you can uh, use cut levels, which will cut just uh, one cut depth uh, per level and then move down. Or you can just go with none. I'm just going to go with none because I want to take this just in one pass. All right, and so there you go. There is the engraving, the letter X on there. Now let's take a look at engrave all. All right, now engrave all is going to engrave everything on the screen. So what we might do is this. Let's temporarily hide the geometry that we don't want to engrave. So I'm going to use our Select Chain tool. It doesn't matter which direction we go. I'll hit F3. And I'm going to grab that guy there. That looks good. And we're finished selecting, so I'm going to right-hand mouse click. Now, the reason why I selected that geometry is I'd like to temporarily hide that. And you can do that very easily within 1CNC using the Blank tool. Now, the Blank tool is located up here. That will currently hide the selected geometry. Or you can simply just hit the letter B, like blank or bravo, on your keyboard. And by doing so, it'll hide that. Now we can hop down here to engrave all. And same thing, I think I'll use the same type of tool that we did before, and that was a chamfer tool. That looks good. And I believe the diameter I used was 12 millimeters. Uh, tip diameter 0, taper angle 45. We'll say that's in turret position number 3. And put our RPM in here. I'll give it some coolant this time, which I should have did last time. And here's a feed rate. That looks good. We'll make this 10 millimeters for the rapid clearance. The plunge clearance, this is where the tool's going to start to feed down. And then here's our depth. I'll put in minus 1 for that. 
So we'll click Next. And again, you have a toolpath style to select from. I'm just going to take this in one pass. I don't need to take uh, depths of cut. I'm going to make it in one pass, so I'm going to say None to this. We'll click Finish, and there you go. Why don't we, uh, why don't we take a look at that really quick. I'm going to bring this geometry back. And why don't we simulate this? I'll right hand mouse click this and we'll go with simulate. And I'm going to pick a boundary. I'll just pick this outside shape uh, for our stock. All this looks good. So I'm just going to left hand mouse click the boundary and then right hand mouse click. And then here's our, here's our engraving. Very, very easy to do. I'll speed this up just a little bit. And there's our XR5. Alright, thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.